It's done, Your Grace. Targaryens are gone. Not all of them. She should be on a hill somewhere with the sun and the clouds above her. She was my sister. This is where she belongs. A big part of Ned Stark's life was his promise to his sister, Lyanna. If Robert finds out that you're coming, you know he will. You have to protect him. Promise me, Ned. Promise me. Ned thought back on this promise several times. He even dreamed about Lyanna and the promise. These thoughts and dreams relate to the first of the two big reasons behind the Crypts of Winterfell. The first being Jon Snow's secret identity. So Ned made a promise to Lyanna, but Jaime Lannister made a promise too. Let the Stark boy and his new queen defend the North. We stay here where we've always been. I made a promise. At the end of season 7, Jaime decided to bail on Cersei. I pledged to ride North. I intend to honor that pledge. So it's interesting, because Jamie and Ned butt heads a few times. I don't fight in tournaments. I just want to fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. Chosen your opponents wisely, then. I have a knack for it. But their stories are still connected. Ned made a promise to Lyanna about Jon Snow to protect him. Now Jamie made a promise to Jon Snow to fight alongside him. How is the North going to receive Jamie? Not very well. Jamie pushed Bran out the window. That's not that big of a deal, at least from Bran's standpoint, because Bran's a three-eyed raven. So Bran can see the situation from his own shoes and also from Jamie's shoes. Jamie was between a rock and a hard place, but that doesn't mean Jamie's off the hook. John, Sansa, and Arya, they're going to see it as, you tried to kill my little bro, bro. And many of the great houses look at House Lannister as the enemy. A Targaryen cannot be trusted. Nor can a Lannister. So Jamie's arrival is going to be tense, but he might bring a gift. Ned Stark's bones. I'll explain, but real quick, thank you to Christian Turner and Mtron Venger for becoming channel members, and John Livingood and Sean Scott for helping in the campaign to save a child's life. So Ned Stark has a tomb, but where are his bones? Did they ever make it back to Winterfell? After the Battle of the Bastards, John says this about Rickon. I'm gonna bury my brother in the crypt. Next to my father. But that does not mean that Ned's bones are there. In fact, we know they're not, at least in the books. Let's take a look. They took off Ned's head. Then a raven arrives, informing Bran and Rickon. Maester Lewin then hires someone to make a statue of Ned. It doesn't look like him. Should have been carved by someone who knew his face. Meanwhile, We can give him his father's bones back, at least as a gesture of good faith. I've brought you a gift. I don't want your gifts. A token of Tyrion Lannister's goodwill. I delivered his bones myself. Presented them to Lady Catelyn as a gesture of goodwill from Tyrion Lannister. Your husband was an honorable man. He should rest beside his family in the crypts beneath Winterfell. We don't know exactly what happens next in the show, but in the books, Lady Cat sends them north with the Silent Sisters. But did they ever make it north, before Theon took over Winterfell? According to Lady Dustin in the books, the bones never made it back to Winterfell. And if Lady Dustin has any say in the matter, Ned Stark's bones will never get back to Winterfell, because she was pissed that Ned brought back his sister's bones, but buried her man down in Dorne. So think about that. The North is not going to be happy to see Danny, Tyrion, and Jaime. But Tyrion sent Ned's bones north, and Jaime might be the one to find them and get them there, alleviating some of the tensions and bringing some bittersweet closure to this tense relationship between Jaime Lannister and his buddy, Ned Stark. Well said. And as the icing on the cake, it's worth noting that when Cat received the bones in the books, she noted that his sword was not with them. So maybe after the War for the Dawn and after the Game of Thrones, they'll reforge ice and place it upon Ned Stark's tomb to hold Lord Eddard's vengeful spirit at bay.